you all know that christianity and islam i love islam i did not speak because he is there to speak uh, they are monotheistic religions but the word for god is pluralism elohim is plural uh, here again i am not going to uh, elaborate the meaning of that plural concept but in total what god means when you cannot explain you use the plural for example heaven the heavens they say water they say waters so when you cannot explain you use the plural so god is being used elohim or allahu or aloha these are all different semitic languages so it does not mean many gods but we do not know we cannot explain we have no words and that is why plural is used and this one god in the book of genesis the first book god created the heavens and the earth there is no explanation who god is there is no uh story about the origin of god if you know the origin of god then you become god so there is in the beginning god and then the spirit of god was moving upon the face of the waters so the spirit god and then god said three these three words are important god spirit said and said is the greek word is logos or the hebrew word is dawa so god is understood through his words by the way none of us have seen god we can only use human words so it is a human understanding of god that is why so god he revealed himself through the word and as spirit spirit who has seen the spirit nobody has seen the spirit so we are now discussing about spirituality or the divine experience the world experience by the way the word logos is also used for science it means knowledge vidya uh, so in every biologos theologos theology biology zoology all ending with logos so the secular knowledge as well as the spiritual knowledge all is very much related so then another word used for god is wisdom someone has already made a reference to that wisdom to discern dharma 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 and adharma or i am using coining a word deva and adaiva the god and the gods the no gods so we are religious people but sometimes we do not know which is the real god and which is the unreal god deva adaiva so the viveka the wisdom that helps us to discern between god and the gods or god deva and adaiva and for the spirit one more word energy is used by the church fathers in the 4th century energy i so many things in common we understand each other and the human is the div- uh, visible the divine visibility of god on earth human is the divine visibility of god on earth because i am using a word human is a theo cosmic being he is the one who could see god or understand god and at the same time he is part and parcel of this world cosmos as well as theos so i, I coin a word human is a theo cosmic being in other words a divine human being but the problem is our limitation we have a limitation this all theoretically is good but i want to be i want to express myself divine but i cannot i cannot say i am god look at me how uh, how good i am i cannot say that this is a human predicament we all want to 
be divine we all want to uh, express ourselves divinity in us because that is the genuine original form part and parcel of the divine but why can't we do that why can't we express that so the bible use the word i'm not going to repeat that sin i'm not going to repeat that again sin essentially is uh elbowing out the true reality from life elbowing out god from life and aham i become god so this self assertion instead of enthroning god within us i myself as enthroned i am god so this in everybody suppose i am a bit religious and i expect that you all come and worship me i am god and uh, whatever i say without question you accept this i find it rather difficult because no human can become a god we are divine we can express the quality of the divine but we cannot be the original final zero none of us can because we are all this morning we got an explanation from dr taj sir uh what is our responsibility in a situation like this uh we must be humble in humility we should try to express ourselves in the divine way jesus who is known as god i mean i'm not using that word known as divine because it's a very difficult term he was not god but he revealed god through himself he was a prophet he was a guru and in his life through his life we know something of god he may have expressed fully but i have been understood him fully so my knowledge of jesus itself is limited so he said a self giving love the greek word agape is used and none of us can we can only be humble before god one of the prophets of the old testament micah he said what is required of you human being you love god and serve people and walk humbly before god i do not know that is why i believe our sages in the past said we are nothing we are not holy but thee thou not me but the divine i do not know i cannot explain that um so this morning again we said about serving daridra narayan jesus came to serve the poor the gospel was to the poor and so jesus came and in his mission he wanted to be 100% faithful to the one who sent him and he had to face the cross here i am saying again not a traditional expression he was killed rather than he died for our sin because he was faithful to the father who sent him he had to take up the cross i can wear a cross but i don't want to take up the cross if anyone wants to follow me let him her take up his her cross and follow me daily none of the christians i am not speaking about you none of the christians want to because they want to worship god they want to put the cross and worship worship but nobody wants to follow in christ's way of the cross so if we want to be honest with god the divine we must be willing to take up the cross i am not referring to the cross of jesus that was his cross we also have our cross in india and in canada and in america if you are truly faithful to the divine call you have and you want to do it why education the answer is already given in this morning so i am not going to repeat that in the bible this can be spirituality can be communicated uh, through education and three types of people are chosen for that in the book of proverbs three types one is the uninitiated the children and they not people who do not know vidya and the second is practical men prudent men they may not have formal education but they are very practical in their life and the third one is the wise one the wise men those who have 
why these three initial and uninitiated do you know because you are doing wrong you have to teach and the second almost like our tamo rajo satvik uh, the second group they are quite willing to work but they don't have the technicalities so that should be taught to them the second group the prudent one the intelligent one the people with a genuine interest in doing things and the third the satvik the wise because there is all the possibility for the satvik to take up god's place and ask people's worship so to avoid that you are also a human being all of us are human beings and there is no tamo tamo in everyone rajo in everyone satvik in everyone but you can develop that through education uh, one personal note at the age of 3 my godfather told me my boy you belong to the lord and a hindu friend of mine said my maharshi is brahaspati brahaspati is my because i feel from the right from the beginning i don't have a conversion but i have a conversion of the mind from the right from the beginning so i have i just started i never looked for any other job except doing the will of god um so these three were initiated into knowledge but the problem with us today is we all belong to different religions different schools of thought and we express a kind of polyphonic cacophonic language with regard to spirituality what should i follow which one i follow my i love my mother <laughs> so i am not saying you should not love your mother but cacophonic polyphonic language at least we who belong to the divine should have one voice at least not voice but voice should take flesh for me religion mother madam in malayalam we say madam sanskrit also mother is opinion so it should be replaced by spirituality so people who belong to a spiritual vision whether they are hindus or islam or christian in their life it should be expressed rather than in their talk we are all very good in talk public speech we are very good so that is not enough if the religion is put in the forefront how many of us can say my religion expresses true spirituality i am again i word a use i don't like personally but people say you are a priest i hate that word priest i want to be the minister of christ a servant of christ pope his official title is the servants of the servants of god but at, at least the present pope seems to be the servant <laughs> okay uh, so none of us can claim we are all human that is why he said only in humility we try to we express differently and uh, we 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 say sometimes some people are tamas some people are rajas we divide people in one religion itself we divide people we set up a, we, we we differentiate people so if there is only one god and we are all children of god or if we are all servants of god or if we are all part and parcel of god the body you know then why these differences so i have no answer for that so different languages different expressions that we should be very very careful spirituality is not taught it is caught c a u g h t if my, i have two boys my children should be the testimony of our life my father and my mother they live what they say and i always say you come i suppose i come to your home and ask your children and grandchildren how about your mommy and daddy oh they only speak they don't live suppose it is said like that what will you feel so our home must be the place where we, where you express your divinity express your spirituality and that is now lost in education since it is already mentioned i am not going to elaborate in education god is elbowed out abhyudaya and nir ah people do not want the second they want only a, in when we when we started i mean when sarampur college was founded it was arts 
science and theology edinburgh university arts science theology medicine all it was part and parcel of the university how many universities in india are now having all these things so our our politicians our government must be taught to make it compulsory whether they like it or not a spirituality and teachings of religions not in details you know but the moral ethical aspects must be taught in the university and that is now not taught in the home no, uh, madrasa the islam they have madrasa christians have sunday schools and recently a hindu friend of mine said we should have some teachings in the temple also for the children we do not teach what we preach but in schools and colleges we should have education on spirituality and i believe that this should be translated in the la- in the total life corporate life of religions here if i make comments i am very honest i am not saying you are not honest i i find it extremely difficult because india is a country of religions india is a country of spirituality but it is one of the worst countries in the world so far as corruption is concerned what answer i will give to my people what answer what answer i will give to the americans they are not good <laughs> but we preach but we do not express this in reality in my home in my church there we worship mammon we want to make money whether it is in the church whether it is in the temple we want to make money 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 how can we have spirituality expressed in in our religious life here we all come together and we should fight against this reign of terror imposed upon us by money power money power then i'm going to finish this is a great onerous task at the same time we human are an infinitesimal particle in the expanding multiverse let us be humble co-workers with the divine and i hope to meet to meet to fulfill this colossal task unless we stand together embrace each other forgetting the differences of religions minor 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 small small it is not the dogma but the life in god with god spirit because spirit is un- invisible so we are the agents through which the visibility of spirituality must made real in the world in india and canada thank you very much